Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to this episode, a series of episodes about Option Greeks. So first, what is Option Greeks? The option prices change and it change based on the underlying price. It changes based on many other parameters. So therefore, the people try to understand how these prices change for change in every parameter. So they call it as option Greeks and there are many option Greeks but there are major five Greeks that people look at it Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega and Rho. So first what is Alpha, Beta, Gamma, Delta, Theta, Rho? These are all Greek alphabets. There is a country called Greeks. The language is called Greece language or call it as Greek and the people of Greece are also known as Greeks and these are all the alphabets of Greece language. One day one of my friends called me and he said sir every option expert is talking about option Greeks and they are saying that if you don't understand the option Greeks you cannot make money in options. Sir, is that true? Uh, just for fun, I told him, uh, just wait for one or two more years and people will stop worrying about the Greeks and they will worry about Tamils. They will give more importance to Tamils rather than Greeks. It was just a statement for fun. So let me tell you, it is actually not necessary for you to understand these option Greeks in order to make money in stock market, in order to make money through options trading. But however, it is good to know at least for academic interest. So it is good to know what is all these things. And today we are going to discuss about the first option Greek that is Delta. So I look at the Investopedia. I just type the definition for option Greek Delta. So this is the page I got. Option trading strategies understanding the position Delta. So here Delta is a ratio sometimes referred to as H ratio that compares the change in the price of an underlying asset with the change in the price of a derivative or option. Delta is one of the four measures options traders use for analyzing the risk. The other three are Gamma, Theta and Vega. For option traders, Delta indicates how many option contracts are needed to hedge a long or short position in the underlying asset. So the definition looks a bit complicated but it is really not that complicated. Throughout this session, I will be talking from the perspective of an option buyer. I will not be talking from the perspective of an option seller. Let us say I am an option buyer. Now Nifty is trading around 15,700. So if I want to buy option, which option I should buy? I should buy 15,700 call option or 15,800 call option, 900 call option or 16,000 call option. Which call option I have to buy if I am bullish about the market? Now let us look at the option chain. So I am taking on 24th June, June expiry and today market closed around 15,690. So that is about 15,700. And if you look at it, 15,700 call option trading around 212 rupees. 16,000 call option trading around 80 rupees. 16,200 call option trading around 35 rupees. So which call option I'm supposed to buy? If you buy at the money call option, the premium is very high. And if you buy far out of the money call option, the premium is very low. So which one to buy? Though the far out of the money options look very lucrative because it is trading at a very cheap price. The probability of you are making money even when the market goes up is very very low. So that is where this delta calculation comes. What delta says tomorrow if nifty goes up by 100 rupees or 100 points how much your call option will go higher because your buy you buy a call option it has to go up for you to make money 
so that is where this delta calculation comes so if you are holding at the money call option at the money call option delta is 0.5 which means if nifty goes up by 100 points at the money call option will go up by 50 points so you will get 50 rupees profit per share and let us say you are having out of the money call option depending on what distance you are buying the delta will keep going down so there are some softwares which actually show you the delta i'm going to show you one such thing so look at this site and here i'm putting 15700 call option this is nifty options 24th june expiry 15700 call option and i bought one lot so the other one i just delete it now 15700 call option is trading around 212 rupees and you look at the greeks the delta says is 52.03 right so if if you put delta in decimals it is 0.52 or sometimes they want to talk in percentage so they say 52 percent so let us stick to decimals 0.52 what does it mean that means tomorrow if nifty goes up by 100 point the 15700 call option will go up by 52 points i told you at the money call option will be having a delta 0.5 but this is not exactly at the money because the nifty closed uh, 15690 it is not 15700 so therefore 15700 delta is 0 0.52 now suppose you look at i'll change this to 16000 call option i'm just modifying now if you buy 16000 call option it is only around 79 rupees but look at the delta delta is 0 0.3 so that means if tomorrow nifty goes up by 100 points you will get only 30 point as a profit so this call option will go up by only 30 points now instead of 16000 let us say 16200 and price is only 35 rupees it's very very cheap but look at the delta delta is 0 0.18 so that means tomorrow if nifty goes up by 100 points this will go up only by 18 points and if nifty goes up by 100 point you also want to make 100 point profit is there a way yes what you need to do you need to buy deep in the money call option let us say 14,000 call option market is trading around 15700 you are buying 14000 call option you look at the greek so the greek is almost 0 0.99997 so it's almost one that means if nifty goes up by 100 points this call option will go up by 100 point so you remember delta actually tells you what will be the change in the option price for the change in the underlying if the underlying changes one rupee how much this option will change will it change 50 pies or 20 pies or 80 pies or one rupee so if i tell you the exact definition the delta is the change in the price of an option when and the underlying changes by one unit so very very simple if you buy in the money option when the market goes up your profitability is going to be more when you buy far out of the money options because the delta is very low your profitability is also going to be low i am talking only about the absolute profit not the percentage profit of course when you buy far out of the money options you are going to pay very little money so in percentage terms what you may get may be more but we are talking only about the absolute price change so this is about call option what about put option is exactly the opposite so instead of delta being positive there the delta will be negative that means if tomorrow price goes up by 100 point when you buy a put option put option price will decrease so therefore delta will be shown in negative maybe i can just show you the same thing i change let us say strike price is 15500 and instead of call option i'll just put put option we modify 
now you can see if you are buying a 15500 put option delta is minus 0.33 that means if nifty goes up by 100 point you will lose 33 points if nifty falls by 100 point you will gain 33 points so remember the delta can be anywhere from minus 1 to plus 1 and negative for put options positive for call options call option delta can be from 0 to 1 and put option delta will be from 0 to minus 1 but now you know the definition of delta and you know how the delta affects the option price but in reality things may be different so i'm going to show you in reality what has happened if you look at nifty today today it is the uh, 3rd of june nifty is up by 114 rupees that means yesterday it was around 15600 now it is around 15700 so it is 114 point higher but look at the option chain i am looking at the option chain of 24th june because yesterday it was around 15600 so 15600 should be the at the money call option right and today what happened it is up only by 45 rupees when the nifty is up by 114 rupees roughly speaking when the nifty goes up by 115 at the money call option should go up by half of this that is about 57 rupees but instead of 57 rupees it has gone only about 45 rupees it did not go up by 57 rupees so why there is a difference of 12 rupees that is because the option price changes due to many other things not only the delta there is delta there is gamma there is theta there is vega there is a row so these are five things influence an option price so today what we have seen is only the delta so in the next episode we will see about gamma hope you enjoyed the video thank you for watching